What's up everybody, Marcos here. Today I'm going to be your guide through the setup process on your MVSIP app. This app allows you to see your DVR from your phone. First off, go to Play Store or App Store in your phone, search for MVSIP, click on the first option and download it. This app is frustration free and really friendly as well. Once you open this app, you can use an email address and a password to create a new account. In this case, I'm going to access as a visitor. By selecting the plus sign, we can add the new device. Let's add the DVR. This program offers you different ways to add new devices. However, we recommend you to add it either manually or by scanning the QR code here at the top. But now I'm going to input manually the ID of the DVR. The ID number is normally where the info icon is. Please do right click on the main screen of your DVR and select system setup from the pop-up menu. Then find the system sub-menu and please select information. And here we have the device ID that we are looking for. Going back to input manually, here please input the DVR ID we have already got. Let's introduce it. The username and password for this DVR are admin for username and password is blank by default. Please click on save. After you have already added your device, we recommend you to please restart your phone. Here you have the menu, select restart. Okay, back to the MVSIP app. I'm going to log in as a visitor one more time. Here on the main screen, click on this DVR and it will display all the channels from this equipment. Let's do click on connect all. However, we recommend you to display camera by camera to improve the streaming speed. The DVR we are using right now has only four cameras connected, as you can see here at the top. Okay, let's try by displaying your cameras one by one. We move back and select channel one. The streaming speed depends on the internet speed where your DVR is connected to and the data speed on your phone. To see the rest of your camera, please drag this window with your finger, either right or left. This program allows you to play back your DVR's videos. Please select playback and here are all your records listed. As you can notice, this program saves 30 minutes videos for every channel until the DVR memory is full. For example, I select the first one and this option allows you to see and download this record. We can move this video forward or do whatever you want. Here I'm moving forward and there you have. In case you want to play back videos from a different camera please select back at the top and select the camera you would like to see by dragging your finger. Here at playback it is important to know that you cannot display all your cameras at the same time but you can do it from your DVR or from the CMS program on your PC. 
the PTC option allows you to control your PTC camera here from this menu you can move it or zoom it unfortunately we don't have one connected for this video here at the bottom you have the capture option to take some picture and the record option allows you to record on your phone independently from what you are recording on your DVR so it's completely different regarding to the stream option we recommend you not to modify this option because it is not necessary another really important advice is not to modify the option here at my device window this option at the bottom are message setting and more they are not necessary to be changed or modified finally thanks for your attention and do not hesitate to contact us in case you need more information or any further assistance our phone number is 407-530-6735 have a nice day thank you so much